guys will go from that was a good idea to be wrong. Hello. Good evening and welcome to Camby High School, home of the Camby Cougars and the graduating class of 2022. <laughs> Buenas tardes y bienvenidos a Camby High School, hogar de los Cougars de Camby y la clase de graduación de 2022. Tonight, we request that you be a courteous audience. Esta noche, les pedimos que sean una audiencia cortés. When taking photos from your seat, please be respectful to those seated around you. A professional photographer will be taking photos of each graduate holding their diploma with Principal Dinsa. Do not exit the bleachers to take pictures. Cuando tomen fotos desde sus asientos, Por favor, sean respetuosos con los que están sentados a su alrededor. Un fotógrafo profesional tomará foto de cada graduado cruzando el escenario mientras le dan la mano al director, señor Denza. No salir de las gradas para tomar fotos. También habrá una foto de cada graduado con su diploma y la C de Cambi para comprar. Restrooms are located on both the north and south ends of the stadium near the scoreboard and in the back entrance to the high school. Los baños están ubicados en los extremos norte y sur del estadio, cerca del marcador y en la entrada trasera de la escuela preparatoria. We ask that you silence or turn off your cell phones. Les pedimos que se mantengan en silencio o apaguen los teléfonos celulares. Further, we ask that umbrellas not be used in the event of rain during the ceremony. Sorry. As this will obstruct the view of those around you. También pedimos que no se usen paraguas en caso de lluvia durante la ceremonia, ya que esto impedirá la visión de los que estén a su alrededor. We want to thank CTV Channel 5 for live streaming both the Senior Awards Assembly and graduation. También queremos agradecer a CTV Canal 5 por transmitir en vivo la asamblea de premios y la graduación. Most importantly, we ask that you refrain from holding sidebar conversations during the graduation ceremony. Lo más importante es que les pedimos que se abstengan de mantener conversaciones paralelas durante la ceremonia de graduación. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the procession of the class of 2022. Damas y caballeros, por favor, pónganse de pie para la procesión de los graduados de la clase de 2022.
forgotten. It's hard to imagine just how far we've come, and yet here we are. To me, you being here proves many things. While it may prove that you did indeed, indeed completed your public education, it more importantly proves that you can do hard things. The work ethic, perseverance, and determination you gained over the years will translate into the many years to come. Many of you, myself included, admit that you don't know what the future holds for you. Whether it's attending college, going to trade school, or embarking on your own ambitions. It's scary to think about what life may throw at you. Now, I'm sure you've all heard the phrase, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. What I've seen from this class has exceeded all expectations. Not only have we dealt with the trials or lemons in our lives, but I have witnessed time and time again students embracing challenges head on. In other words, we are a class 
that seeks out things that will challenge us and help us grow. Despite hardships and setbacks, such as the pandemic or our own personal struggles, we made our senior year a memorable one. I can't help but smile when I think about how many of you went to our first homecoming dance, to our various athletic events, and participated in school activities such as clubs and extracurriculars. This year, we came back with more Cougar spirit than any other year. I guess what I'm trying to say is, for those of you who are nervous for your future, know this, you are ready. You're ready because no matter what life throws at you, and there will be challenges, you get back up and you keep moving forward. What an honor it has been for me to be your class president. And I can't wait to see, I can't, and I wish you all the best and if nothing, and if nothing else, I am proud of you. Thank you. I would like to introduce to you our first student speaker for graduation. Please welcome Jessica, or Jesse Samarin, giving her speech, This Place Will Change You If You Let It. Have you ever been on the cusp of a decision where desire and fear intersect? A defining moment when the opportunity for growth hinges on the choice to face your fears head on or let it paralyze you. For me, it was CrossFit. I had been feeling proud of myself after making it through repetitions of banded squats, side planks, reverse lunges, step ups, and sit ups. Unfortunately, my feeling of victory was short-lived when my coach announced that we would be working on, wait for it, handstand push-ups. My heart stopped. My mind began to race, trying to come up with the quickest plan of escape. And just as I had accepted the fact that my first class would also be my last, my eyes caught a phrase on the top of the wall. This place will change you if you let it. How many opportunities for growth have you forfeited due to fear? No doubt about it, fear is paralyzing, but where do we draw the line in order to prevent it from consuming us? When I finally joined, I discovered so many areas to improve on. Strength, endurance, movement, technique, and so much more. Finding room for improvement is not something to be ashamed of because it provides further opportunities for you to discover your best self. When I learned all the ways I had yet to improve, I was not embarrassed. I was excited. I found value in learning what I needed to work on because I knew it would lead me closer to discovering my best self. This is in fact true of any circumstance we are faced with. Opportunities for us to improve are always there. All we have to do is accept the challenge. Whether fear comes in the form of being the first in your family to attend college, pursue a trade or dive into the workforce or any place you are in life, Opportunities for us to improve are always there. All we have to do is say yes. Because bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is making the choice to risk comfort in order to grow. Every opportunity presents a chance for us to continue building our strengths, adding to our skill sets, and sharpening our character. Canby High School, coming from a person who has experienced fear, I promise you that amazing things come when you choose to be brave. Do not be afraid to commit to the things that scare you. Do not be afraid to come in last. Do not be afraid of failure. Be afraid of missing the opportunity to grow. Together, we have been courageous. We have committed to the things that scare us, embraced our fear, and allow it to become our pathway to success. Because CHS, this place will change you if you let it. Thank you. Oh, hello. There we are up there. Hello. My name is Tyler Jansen. I'm the senior ASB vice president. Please welcome the Canalinas as they sing for us The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. 
arranged by Brooks Gingrich. My name is Haven Tamimi, and I am the senior ASB secretary, and it is my pleasure to introduce Katrin Vokrot. She will be reciting her poem, Unfinished Poem. <laughs> Hello and good evening, everyone. My name is Kitchen Vakra, and I am here to read to you an original poem entitled Unfinished. This piece is dedicated to the class of 2022. I hope these words encourage you to look forward to the amazing journey ahead. Unfinished poem. Our lives are an unfinished poem, always changing and never staying the same. One that is full of unique words and unusual cadences. It never has the same twists and turns within this odd but adoring poem. We can never seem to get the ending right. It is either too loud or too subtle, too loud, too dark or too bright, too dramatic or too boring. Although I believe that is how it should be. 
Life is precious, this we know. We see the beauty in the best of times. Every day brings new experiences, but the hard days are what make us grow. Life is a journey that we ride out as we go, never the same and always different, full of deep sadness and overwhelming joy, full of great trials and beautiful celebrations. Like reading a thrilling story, we are enthralled by each day. We always push for the answers, but they always seem to fly away, right out of our grasp until we lose sight. Oh, how I would love for one of these days to bring me so much inspiration that I could finish this poem. But then I think again and remember that the unfinished is just as beautiful as the complete. As we move on to the next chapter of our lives, just remember that your story is not over. And these memories and experiences we all share have shaped us to be who we are. May we all continue to grow and thrive wherever we are headed. Some days may be harder than others, but others may be the best days of our lives. Never forget where you came from. Always remember that unfinished is beautiful and new adventures await you wherever you go. This is just the beginning. Congratulations, class of 2022, and thank you. Good evening, my name is Belle Rayburn. I am a senior class officer. I am happy to introduce Ryan Scarborough giving his speech, Scaling the Mountain. Seniors, we made it. We've overcome the trials and tribulations high school has presented and reached the peak of the mountain. When we started our climb, everything appeared to be shaping up to be a regular high school course. Freshman year went by smoothly, and we were able to enjoy all the normal activities our first year. Whether that was homecoming, winter formal, assemblies, or sports games, our transition from middle school to high school was what we expected. We continued our climb, breezed by all the small obstacles presented en route to finish our sophomore year. March 2020, what originally was supposed to be a continuation of the steady slope we experienced, quickly turned into the steepest part of the climb. Due to the pand pandemic, we were forced to continue our journey through high school th from the comfort of our homes. For the first couple weeks to even the first month, the change in life had yet to hurl any significant obstacles at us. However, the term would pass day by day, and the disconnect from our school, our teachers, and our friends would grow wider. This trend would continue throughout junior year, and it was tough. However, it gave us the chance to show our ability to adapt, apply, and build ourselves, not just as students, but as individuals. We stood strong helping each other along the way, and scaled the steepest part of the slope, even when it felt like the progress was moving inch by inch. We finally reached senior year, and the slope was back to the steepness we projected. As we finished the closing stretch, we were able to enjoy all the activities we had been anticipating, such as dances, assemblies, sports games, and much more. This year has restored hope, and the accomplishments achieved from that regained hope have had their effects exemplified to new measures. We kept climbing from start to finish. Now, therefore, we can finally rest. Looking down around us from the top of the summit, joyous with our journey and where we and our peers ended up. And I couldn't be any more proud of us and the immense work we put in for this moment. Thank you. Everybody, here it is, the moment you've been waiting for. Not really, but it's going to be good too. 
Uh, we're gonna have the CHS band, myself included. It's gonna be great. J j get ready, get ready. Uh, we're gonna play 1812 Overture, and uh, you're gonna enjoy it. Good stuff.
bit excessive. <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Lee Hepler, and I'm a senior class officer. Thank you. Each year, the senior class nominates and votes on a staff speaker. This year, we chose Ryan McCormick. Oh, yeah. He is an amazing social studies teacher and can be high school varsity soccer coach, and we are lucky to have him at CHS. To the graduating class of 2022, congratulations on making it here today. It's taken a great deal of patience and resilience. For a few years there, we didn't know if we'd be able to make it back to a full event like this. And it's moments like these that I think we really have to reflect on everything that has happened during your four years here and appreciate and savor the chance to be together again, to celebrate a milestone achievement with a community of support behind you. I'm genuinely touched that you bestowed this honor upon me to speak with you today. But, uh, why me? <laughs> I have no idea. Much like you, I've been exhausted this year. We're in the nest in the tree of trust, right, CHS? I can be honest with you, yeah? Don't tell the principal. This hasn't been the best performance in my 10 years. Like you, I was barely hanging on there. The last three years have taken a toll, and I've been saying for a while now, McCormick, just get to June 3rd. The seniors will be done. You'll only have to teach a half day. You can get home by 3.45. Go to bed early. There's no soccer practice, no basketball games to announce, no track meets to announce, and there's no way the seniors are going to vote you graduation speaker. <laughs> You'll have the night off. So I had to reflect and think about it. Why me? What could they possibly want me to say? And I could only come to one conclusion. It's really not about me at all. You voted for me for one reason and one reason only. You love economics. <laughs> the summit was clearly the most important event in your lives to date. Nothing has pulled at your heartstrings more than the unholy unity of math and social studies together. So buckle up. We got one more econ lesson. Notebooks out. Near prod codes on the board. Get logged in. Here we go. The first thing we talked about in class was the six principles of economic thinking. And now that we stand on the precipice of your adulthood, I want to remind you of some of those principles. Principle number one, we all make choices. In recent studies, it has been estimated that humans make up to 35,000 choices a day. They make 227 choices per day just regarding food alone. Unfortunately, now we only have 226, now that Chapala has left us. I know. Not all choices are weighted equally, obviously. Make sure you're putting weight on the choices that really matter and try not to stress about the ones that don't. Which ones matter? The ones that put time in your hands, that enrich your lives and the lives of those around you, the ones that help you take care of yourself, and the ones that make the largest impact. Choose to place weight there. Everything else is just an alternative. Principle number two, choices involve costs. We often think about costs in terms of financial costs, but remember the key principle at play is the loss of opportunity. One of the most important things my dad ever taught me was that everything you do, you can learn from it. And any opportunity that scares you a little, the one that you don't know if you're quite ready for it yet, or that the pressure seems like it's too much, that's usually the one you should go for. When presented with a choice between staying in your comfort zone and stepping outside it, choose discomfort and give it everything you've got. Discomfort is where growth happens. You and the people around you will be better for it. Skipping ahead to principle number five, we all benefit from voluntary trade. 
We as a community need you to develop a skill and foster pride around using that. The best way to do that, find people smarter than you and trade ideas. For example, I work with Ms. Sorum a lot. She is smarter than me and I learn a lot from her every day. Like what it was like for her as a young girl living in the roaring 20s. Oh, that was a good one. Walk off. All right, kidding aside, the best opportunities that I've been presented with have always come from mentors or networking. I grind and volunteer my time for them and in return they share with me their knowledge that comes from years of experience that I don't have. I then try to pay that forward to people seeking my guidance. The real world is a lot more of a team game than we often describe it. And with that, voluntary exchange of experience and knowledge is crucial not only to your success, but for ours as a whole. Principle number six, our choices have unintended consequences that lie in the future. Upon graduating from college, I decided I wanted to work in pro sports. I accepted a job with the Phoenix Coyotes in the NHL, and in my spare time, I just wanted to coach club soccer and made a random call one day to a club coach who invited me to volunteer with his team. It was through that job that I realized how much I loved the education and coaching process. I went back, got my master's in teaching, took a job in the Bay Area where I worked for seven years, and when my wife and I decided we wanted to move our kids closer to family, we came here to Oregon. I got this job with the encouragement of Ken Jex, a retired CHS educator who I replaced. He encouraged me to apply because way back in the 70s, he chose to play basketball at Arcadia High School in Southern California. And a year later, so did my dad. They were high school teammates. What's my point? My dad could have never guessed that 45 years later that his old high school basketball teammate would be helping his son apply for a job at Canby High School. Nor could I have told you when I started in the NHL that I would be here at a job I love, teaching economics, a subject I originally hated, speaking to a great group of young men and women about to go out and impact the world. Goal setting and planning are important, but strict adherence to the plan to the exclusion of other paths is detrimental. Be open to the unintended consequences of your choices, for the unintended consequences are sometimes the best things that can happen to you. That's it, that's all I got. You're all in the driver's seat now. In the future, you'll have to make choices for yourself. I hope you make choices that propel you forward towards a life filled with love, happiness, and impact. Whatever choices you make, you've got a whole town rooting for you. It's truly been an honor getting to work with you and learn from you during these trying years. We love you, congratulations, and good luck. Good afternoon to everyone. My name is Georgia Chipola, and I'm one of the foreign exchange students that attended Canby this year. I am from Germany, but I'm also Italian and Romanian. And I'm grateful and appreciate everyone who is here today. Today is a special day yeah, for all seniors. It's graduation, and after 13 years of school, you're finally graduating, and I can't be even more proud of you all after the hard and great work that you all have done. I'm here today to introduce our principal, Mr. Dinze. I'm so honored to introduce him to you all. How do I describe Mr. Dinze? I think this question is easy. Well, Mr. Dinze served as the CHS principal since 2015. He helped the school grow and change. Since I first arrived at Canby, I remember how he welcomed me with open arms. He was so nice to me and helped me find my classes, introduced me to the teachers since I didn't know anyone yet. <laughs> Throughout the year, I noticed each day that he has, that he is a principal that always tries to make the school a better place for all students. He wants to make the school a second home for all of us and to make us feel safe. I can see how much she cares about the school and the people here. 
I learned from him that you can't succeed in life if you don't fail. He never gave up on us, our principal, and he kept trying to make the school the best it could be. Can you imagine being a principal during the COVID pandemic? It must have been a very hard two years. He never gave up on any of us. Thank you, Mr. Dinzer, for being a principal. I know everyone appreciates your hard work, positivity, and care for the students, staff, and community. The most important thing that you did as a principal is you wanted to know and understand us students and always helped us through our hardships no matter what. Even though you were timing this year, remember you have our hearts for sure. And now I am happy to introduce Mr. Denza, one of the best principals I've ever met. Go Cougars! I don't need that either. Great. Dunkishir in Georgia. All right. Um, well, let, before I get started, I need to get my phone out here. I may be old, but I know how to use social media. Okay, hold on. We're going to do a selfie, you guys. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, so we're going to turn around here. I need everybody to give me like a wave or a handshake. Awesome. You guys look great. All right. Let's get this thing started. And hey, Mr. McCormick, don't worry about getting out of work early. We'll find plenty of additional duties for you next week. You heard it from him, right? All right, let me move some of this stuff out of the way so I can read my speech. Well, hello, class of 2022. Yes, we're here. Your graduation. A ceremony that recognizes your accomplishments and experiences as you transition from being a kid into being an adult. It's time to celebrate and give thanks to all those who've helped us along the path. Every year I have the privilege of making this speech to our graduates and families, and every year I write it to be unique to the graduating class. To me, this year is exceptional. It's exceptional for all the things you've had to go through, and more importantly, for how you have responded. Let's take a moment to review this journey. You entered your experience at Canby High School four years ago with a mix of emotions. There was excitement and anxiety. You had enthusiasm over interesting classes, engaging clubs, sports programs, and an open lunch time at, on campus, open campus at lunch. You were nervous about finding your way through this confusing building and figuring out your schedule. You had the opportunity to create new friendships and have new fresh adventures. As sophomores, your, your, your second year started your CHS experience as veterans. You were established, friend groups had formed, you had participated in clubs and teams, teachers were figured out, you knew the system, and you were ready to take full advantage and reap the rewards. Everything was golden for you, and then it happened. During a meeting with the superintendent in March of 2019, I remember him saying that we might get an extended spring break. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, that evolved into a full closure and the shift to distance learning. You watched the seniors miss their last trimester and participate in a virtual graduation. You had to all become experts at Zoom. And of course, we all thought, this will be over by summer and we'll be back to normal. But it didn't. When we restarted in the fall, our fears were realized. The closure continued, classes were all on Zoom, clubs were suspended, sports were canceled. The reality set in, this year would be unlike any other. Gone were the spontaneous class discussions, the lunch trips to Taco Bell, prom, state playoffs. Collectively, we were all frustrated and we experienced the loss of a typical school year. In short, I think we can all agree much of your junior, yes, uh, junior year was a huge disappointment. Then we arrived at your senior year, and this is where the magic happened. Rather than focus on the loss and the challenges ahead, you responded positively and strongly. Your collective leadership 
helped our school navigate the ever-changing COVID rules and return to normalcy. You rekindled school spirit and brought energy to every event. Senior leaders and captains led our athletics and activities to great accomplishments. Football made it to the quarterfinals at state. Yeah, let's hear it for football. League and district championships in wrestling and swimming. Our trap team was conference champions. Dance took third at state. Yeah. Multiple state winners and national qualifiers in FBLA and FFA. OSET, OSET, district champions. Choir, fifth in state. Boys track team, fourth in state. Band, first time for Canby High School to go to state championships. And let's not forget our baseball team. Off to the state championships tomorrow. The class of 2022, you are a class of champions. In the shadow of one of the most challenging times in our recent history, you have persevered and succeeded. You developed strategies to cope and become more flexible. You learned empathy, showed compassion, and provided support to others. While you may have had a hard time seeing it at times, you have become stronger and better for it. On behalf of the staff at Canby High School, I am so proud of what you have become. Congratulations on all your accomplishments. Go forward, live your lives to the fullest, capitalize on your strengths and talents, take risks, and keep learning. Continue to do great things. Finally, I'd like to personally thank you all for the challenge of being your principal during your time here at Canby High School. I applaud you, ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022. Haven and Hannah. Hello, Canby seniors, staff, and community. My name is Aaron Downs, and I'm proud to serve as the superintendent of this great school district. On behalf of the Canby School Board and our school district team, we want to extend a sincere congratulations to the seniors, their friends, and family. First, I'd like to thank you, seniors, for your contribution to our school district. Nearly 80% of you have been with us since elementary school. It's pretty impressive. It's been my pleasure to get to know you personally during this year, and I'm humbled and encouraged by you. Your hard work, kindness, and grit will carry you. I would also like to thank our entire school community and staff who have supported you throughout your time in our schools. You have made a difference in the lives of these seniors. In, partic in particular, I would like to thank Principal Denza for his seven years of service and leadership of the Canby High School. Thank you, Principal Denza. So I've got a hope. My hope is that uh, one day you will return to our school district and even want to work and play a valuable role in this community where kids are growing, learning, and thriving. We will find a job for you. As you embark on this next journey, be kind and give yourself grace. Know that you are loved and cared for. Know you can choose to be better today than you were yesterday 
and that you can make a positive impact daily. So I've recently gained some inspiration from a top pilot. Uh, I'll call him Maverick. So, Maverick's taught me a couple things. He's, he's taught me, don't think, just do. I, I want to disagree just slightly. I actually want you to think a little bit and then do. Next, be a great teammate and learn to work well with others. And last and most importantly, always wear your sunglasses. With a future as bright as yours, you're going to need them. So thank you. I, it'd be really cool if we had like a flyover, right? <laughs> we had it, and then they said they couldn't do it with rain. So I'm joking. We didn't have it for those of you who thought we could afford that. <laughs> Seniors, families, and friends, thank you for letting us share in your journey. We are so incredibly proud of you. And now the part that you've all been waiting for. As superintendent of the Canby School District, I certify these seniors have met all the requirements set forth by the Canby School District and the state of Oregon, and I hereby declare this class of 2020, 2022 to be graduates of Canby High School. Seniors, you will now receive your diplomas. Congratulations. Ace Morris. <laughs> Chloe Jacobson. Yeah. Hayden Lee. <laughs> Marissa K. Deppner. Haley Elizabeth Rasu. <laughs> Chloe Lynn Mall. <laughs> Carson Andrew Imdike. Miguel Sanchez. <laughs> Haven Tamimi. <laughs> Ali Saltmarsh. <laughs> Belle Rayburn.
Katrin Ann Vokrot. Hadessa Parkey. Tate Leader. Cassidy Hemry. Amy Romero. Aiden Chase. Henry Dodd. <laughs> Hannah Cutsforth. <laughs> Holly Spath. <laughs> Betsabe Martinez Vasquez. Elijah Vetter. <laughs> Abigail Joy Chafee. <laughs> Kara Elizabeth Harper. <laughs> Jacob Strand. Yes, Strand! Nate Bailey. Andrew Floyd Williams. Emma Marie Oakley. David Villegas. <laughs> Christian Sanchez Ramirez. Clayton Langdale. <laughs> Mallory Rose Block. Isabel Pereira. Peyton Hollinger. Grace Landicker. Kaya Carlson. Layla Grace Wood. Casey Langdale. Nacho Alvarez. Riley Hemsey Walters. Nimsy Gomez. <laughs> Kaya Lou Smith. Matthew Souls. <laughs> Michael Gibson the third.
Ellie Bennett. Georgia Maria Chapala. Gabe Porter. Clara Bates. Mackenzie Smith. Cole Rezincheck. Allison Parsons. Christine McCoy. Corinne Clark. Sarah Smith. Hassam Calderon Ruiz. Megan Noble. Clayton Guinam. Zach Goldbeck. Spencer Chapin. Juan Jin Ju. Jada St. Clair. Katrina Hall. Elizabeth Johnson. Ethan Porter. Peyton Grace Doherty. Bryn Spoon. Connor Morris. Lee Gabriel Hepler. Michaela Pingo. Paris Bullsby. Sarah Big House. Jenna Moray. <laughs> Ashley Taylor Peterson. <laughs> Katie Moore. <laughs> Ellie Grace Dumanovsky. Keegan Wielander. Jillian Schaffner. Brooke Jonas. Matthew Hagen.
Christian Ross Drazen. Cristal Andrade. Cody Zagava. Jeremy Rossu. Eddie Lopez. Gabe Quinlan. Colin Kennedy. Jesse Samrin. Kate Williams. Cheyenne Inskeep. Cameron Varner. Jocelyn Bradfew. Michelle Bannock. Kayleen Boyd. Tressa Casala. Alejandra Valadez. Chloe Enfield. Thomas William O'Neill. Elsie Ray Rodolph. Jacob Ryerson. William English. Alexis Ray Genevieve Moore. Olivia Ray Coleman. Dominic Pepper. Bryce Oliver. Cash Montgomery. Devin Ritchie. Cody Geiger Bland. Cole Bernard. Carter Sprague. Zachary Bladel. Gabriela Vigil. Lily Wiles Stewart. Ryan Scarbs Scarborough. Thomas Wing. Joseph Brockmiller. Kaylee Lu. 
Lucas. Emma Kathleen Goretzky. Isabella Lauren Short. Abigail Grace Loomis. Sydney Peyton Cochelle. Rory Burton. Caden Kai Oswald. Theo Netter. Kellen Oaks. Benjamin Lyman. Tyler Jansen. Drew Pearson. Kobe Kessler. Emma Hodson. Mallory Scott. Catherine Frentress. Kendall Thomas. Zachary Ralph Netter. Braden Wise. Caden Smith. Reed Dawson Hurley. Keenan Brewer. Cal Wait. Grayson Noss. Cameron Jordan Lee. Mackenzie Burnell. Andrew Miranda. Congrats, man. Good luck next year. Peyton Myers. Jason Knopfsiger. Gabrielle Carney Gray. Yeah. Cameron Nicole Millar. Yeah. Ty Ewers. Four William Wendell Leitinen. Yeah. 
Matthew Ide. Xander Hobart. Joseph Toon. Randall Cook. Madeline Mills. Kaylee Doherty. Oren Eugene Tomlinson. Caleb Payne. Peyton Walker. Gannon Carey. Kylan Jagels. Jack Hayhurst. Brandon Slater. Riley Kane Johnson. Katie Jane Anderson. Katie Lee Ayers. Tanner Van Meter. Alexander Evans. Cheyenne Matchett. Kyle Severson. Jacob Kidner. Ivan Morales. Andrea Guijosa Mondragón. Samantha May Van de Kubering. Betsai Cruz Asuncion. Jennifer Mendoza Cruz. Anaí Verduzco Rojo. Esli Covarrubias. Isabel Tejerano. Evelyn Garcia Enciso. Lexley Lopez Suriaga. Adriana Arellano. Jennifer Rosiles Malagón. Lebni. Gracia Carrillo. Alexia Francesca Melara Lopez. Marta Valeria Pérez Cabrera.
Natalie Leader. Emily LaRock Wisdom. Francisco Rivera Lopez. Leobardo Martinez de Jesus. Dylan Asbel. Annie Topliff. Jennifer Barra Matadamas. <laughs> Helena Crispin. <laughs> Hayden Taylor. <laughs> Madison Emily Ard. Tanner Bedortha. <laughs> Paris Castleman. Aiden Severson. Thomas Hunter. Derecio. <laughs> Colby Swackhammer. <laughs> Shaley Nolden. Simon Jiwe Masangila. Grady Morgan. Kyle Damgard. Titus Bauer. Kaylee Borntrager. Aiden Pedro. Naveen Rodrigo Ramos. Jacob Peterson. Mike Breitbart. Colton Ross. Vivian May Williams. Kaylee May Keeney. Davis Montes. Liliana Santos Cortez. Kenneth Hayes. Ty Groshan. Giovanni Cruz. Saul Ramirez. Fabiola Guadalupe Esquivel Vasquez. Giovanni! 
Mariana Negrete Lopez. Suleima Martinez Orozco. Yaritza Martinez Ayala. María de Jesús Ávila Reyes. Elizabeth Dula. Leslie Mendez. Genesis Villanueva. Esmeralda Estrella Zamora. Joana González. Brittany Ayala García. Alondra Amezcua Ruiz. Stephanie Haynes. <laughs> Levi Good. <laughs> Jair Martinez Ayala. <laughs> Arcadio Said Vera. Jair Mendoza Román. Ángel Nicolás González. Neftalí Girón. Joel Ibarra Mercado. Jeremy De La Torre Camarena. Josué Cardenas González. Jonathan Cruz Zurita. Edwin Mejía. Axel Giovanni Aguirre. Alan Ulises Ojeda Sanchez. Elizabeth Claver. Haley Elmer. Lily Stearns. <laughs> Samantha Neal. <laughs> Taisia Zarkov. <laughs> Riley Pressler. Connor Alexander Gooding. <laughs> Tino Achille Fox. <laughs> JJ Castañeda. Anthony Daniel Mendoza. <laughs> Fernando Avila Ortiz. <laughs> Jose.
Jose Jimenez Sanchez. Sean Betts. Sean Betts. Julian Jones. Estrella Vasquez Tafoya. Odaliz Molina Romero. Griffin Philpot. Owen Moffat. Irina Pleshakova. Gracie Pietkoff. Kentucky Jones. Alex Arellano. Sergio Solis. The following student could not participate today, unfortunately due to COVID-19. Travis Johnson. Rowan Hainstock. Rowan Hainstock. Lexi Olivia Paez. Morgan Fry. William Evans. Embry Johnson. Owen Robert Sparks Bryhoff. Cademan Pittman. Jacob Kerwin. Gretchen McClanahan. Willa Schrick. Big Vi Rodriguez. Jackson Brown. Alexis Lawson. Baden Colby. All right, how does that feel, graduates? Feels pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. And I'd just like to say thank you for all the golf balls. Um, I'm gonna have to take up golfing now. Uh, all right, at this point, I would like to introduce our senior class officers and senior ASB officers. So please join me up here. Tate leader, Lee Hepler, Hannah Cutsforth, Orrin Tomlinson, Tyler Jansen and Haven Tamini.
Our officers will be leading us in that time-honored tradition of the turning of the tassel. This year, Tate Leader, our senior class president, will walk the graduates through the tradition. I am still Tate Leader, Senior Class President. Uh, I'm here to take you through the tradition of the turning of the tassel. Turning the tassel symbolizes our transition from graduate candidate to actual gra graduate. Our tassels are currently on the right side. Graduates, please rise and make sure your tassel is on the right side of your graduation cap. Okay. Please move your tassel to the left side now. On the count of three, congratulations, Senior Class 2022. One, two, three. We did it. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the commencement ceremony for Camby High School in the class of 2022. Congratulations. Yeah!